All right, a very important topic here when we talk about COVID-19, that this virus has disproportionately affected Toronto's racialized communities. We do know that the city's vaccination rollout ramps up, but health officials are looking at how to address vaccine equity as well as hesitancy concerns in various neighborhoods, especially those that are hardest hit by the virus. So joining me now to discuss these issues, Dr. Akwatu Kenti, Special Advisor to Toronto's COVID Equity Action Plan. Good morning to you, Dr. Kenti. Good morning. So this is a, a, an angle that we've been covering for some time. It's very obvious that certain parts of our city uh, need more attention when it comes to COVID-19, specifically now in this process of the vaccination efforts. We saw some good news with Thorncliffe Park, that neighborhood, one of the hardest hit that's going to be opening up one of these mass vaccination clinics. Where else should we be addressing? What should we, should we be looking at as we move ahead in the coming months? Well, we need to be looking at the Northeast and the Northwest two areas that have had high positivity and high hospitalization rates. And uh, we need to make sure that our rollout includes equity as a key consideration. Once we do that, we'll be doing the best that we can. Once we look at equity, what about when it comes to hesitancy? Are various uh, parts of the community still, do they need convincing that this is a good approach to get a vaccine? Yes, awareness um, has to be, a, the, the lack of awareness is a key issue. Um, time, technology and trust. We need to really not just, you know, bring the vaccines to the population. We actually have to raise the awareness of the population, of the safety of the vaccine and of the fact that their, their health issues are driving um, our rollout, our strategy, our concerns. We, you know, long-term care, seniors, and now we're looking at marginalized, racialized populations that are at high risk. Not through any fault of their own, but through a mix of occupation, poverty, need for public transit, and limited sick days. That, that's the key one here when we're looking at these uh, paid sick days. Is there still a push to the province to make this happen? There is still a huge need. One of the reasons a lot of people don't get tested is simply because there's no um, means to take care of their bills. Um, no sick days, no income source, um, and, and so they, they don't they don't go and get tested because they, you know they they pass through the COVID, but some don't, and that's the reason why we really need to get um, adequate sick days, ten days during a pandemic, five days in regular times. When you talk about communication within the community, uh, what specifics can be done? I, I, I understand that there are ambassadors that are going out throughout the community to, to try to talk to members. Um, how does that all work? We use trusted sources to carry the message, to carry the vaccine message about safety, efficacy, the rollout, the fact that clinical trials has involved a wide diversity of population groups, and there's let you know much, much of the myths and misinformation are incorrect. Vaccines will not distort people's DNA. Vaccines will not kill you. Vaccines will not uh, reduce the chances of having a baby. These are all ideas that are floating around in social media that are actually influencing people's decision not to take a vaccine. But most people, when presented with scientific facts from a trusted source, um, will change their minds, will make the right decision. And that's all we're trying to do, really um, allow people to have the right balance of information that they can make informed decisions about taking a vaccine. Indeed, very important, and, and making it available for those who want to have it, right? Uh, Dr. Kendi, I wish we had more time, but we've just run out. But I appreciate you taking the time with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, right now we're sitting at 7-Eleven. We're going to check in with, where are we going? We're going over this way, Sid and Dina. Sorry, Sid and Dina. Hi, way. Mel. Hi, guys.